Muck boots are by far my favorite. These are the Muck Chore boots, and I love these and wear them to death. And you can see I'm getting a hole in my boot. I guess Lucy can see that I have a hole in my boot. So, I have a new pair. Let's check this out. So I believe these are called cow call. Um, these are boots that I was asked to review. So let's see how they are. This is the outside box. When you open them up, they are definitely in that kind of muck boot style, it looks like. This is the packaging. They came with some, you know, paper. Kind of have a tag on here. Let's look at that. Every step is trustworthy, which is good to know. Um, this is their website made in China so far the cat is interested in them these are a men's size 7 which is what I would wear um, the inside it's it's very much like a regular like muck boot it has that insole in there so let's try them on something very important to me in boots is that they're easy to slide on and these are they slide right on my feet they don't scrunch up which is very important to me um they actually feel pretty comfortable inside here we go so they have a great traction on the bottom and actually they're very comfortable um, i kind of feel like i'm walking on air to be honest they're kind of like cushy um this this top part is very soft i'm gonna go out and walk around the chickens and we'll see if they're keeping my feet warm because today's a little chilly so we are late fall here in Northwest Indiana. It is November and it gets cold here. Um, we can, we have had winters where we get down way below zero. I would say down to 20 is not unheard of. Not a lot, maybe a day or two, but in general, we are around between zero and 20 degrees um, most of winter. That's just kind of what it is. So when you have chickens, you're messing with water. You're messing with mud. And we've introduced these critters into our lives, which means we're messing with more mud and more water and more ice with these ducks. So it's going to be important that these are waterproof and they look like they are. I'm going to try them out because waterproofing is really important to me that I should be able to step in water. And obviously I'm not going to go wading in these, but that I should be able to have my feet wet and they should stay dry. So, so far so good. I wouldn't expect that cloth part at the top to stay dry if that gets wet, but the rest of it should. And I notice that water just comes right off. Those obviously have a good coating. I'm not feeling any water seeping in through the soles. So good for them. My feet are actually nice and warm. And like I said, they're very comfortable. Okay, so how do I like these? I really like them. They're very comfortable. They're very comparable to um, my muck boots, really. They kind of have the same style to them. They're definitely waterproof. I haven't had any problems with the water. Um, they look like they're fairly well made as far as how that's going to hold together. I mean, I don't have any complaints as far as the quality goes. I have, I've been wearing these boots now for a week. Um, exclusively, I apologize, they are dirty. They did not come this dirty, obviously, but I've been wearing them exclusively and um, really pleased with them. I am used to my muck boots and I wear a muck boot chore boot, the mid chore, so it's kind of the shorter boot, um, exactly the same style as these are. That's the boot I'm used to and that's the boot that I'm gonna compare it to just because it's my point of reference. So um, as far as the feel of these boots, these boots are not quite as comfortable as my muck boots are. So my foot tends to run a little wider. This is the exact same size um, that I would have gotten in my muck boots. It's the same size I wear. So um, I did notice that they, they started out very comfortable and as I wear them, they don't always feel quite as comfortable. I don't know how to explain it. They're not uncomfortable. They're very cushy inside, which is great. It almost feels like maybe they're a little bit more formed than maybe the muck boot um more of maybe an arch or it's a little narrower possibly there goes grumpy duck she is 
well named. <laughs> mm. Didn't know we were going to get a chicken duck fight in here. I don't know what that's all about. So, back to the boots. I'm not sure if they're just maybe a little narrower, or a little more formed. I'm not sure, but um, I wouldn't call them uncomfortable, but they're not as comfortable as my other boots have been. Um, but they're not terrible for sure. So I wouldn't say that that's a, a bad thing, but it might be just, um, might just be my foot and the way my foot is shaped or something. So that's just something to consider. I don't know if, they, if it's the size, maybe they run a little smaller than, than boots I'm used to, but um, that would be the only thing. But other than that, they're comfortable and warm. I can tell that they're gonna be warm and they definitely keep my feet dry. So, so would I recommend these boots? I think I would. With the price point, um, I think it's a good price point. They seem like a quality boot. Now, it hasn't been that long, you know, to see how well they hold up. I really expect a pair of boots to hold up at least a year um, for me, if not possibly longer. Um, so I, I consider that to be good quality, possibly longer. So, you know, we'll see. It's not been long enough for me to see. There she is again. <clears throat> you know, it seems like her and that one brown chicken have a problem, don't they? <laughs> there they are again. So... So I'm hoping that they will hold up as well as the other boots that I've had. But um, for the price point, it's a little bit cheaper. Um, the company seems really nice to work with and they have a nice um, range of styles. They have a nice line of different boots. So I definitely think it's worth checking out. And you can get those on their website. Looks like it also looks like they have on um, some on Amazon. So I will put links down in the description. So if you have these boots or you try these boots, I'd love to hear in the comments how they worked out for you. Because I'm always um, you know, a big fan of having options when we're buying things and, and finding good companies and, and good alternatives for things. So let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching.